Sorella, Lady of the House of Martok, has requested that you meet her at the House Estate in the Ketha Lowlands. She did not explain why she wanted to see you, but I expect that she has some tasks she would like completed. The House of Martok has lost much prestige since I took the Chancellor's seat. But they still have many allies among the KDF, and I am loath to reject Cyrilla's request without a good reason. Gaining the favor of the House of Martok could serve you well, but remember, they have many enemies. I harbor no ill towards Cyrilla, but do not get caught up in her vengeance against me. It would not be in your best interest. Serve the Empire. Hi everyone, so... The next part of the Klingon story has been redesigned. This time it's Warzone. So in this video, we're gonna play through all four, as I don't believe they'll take too much time. So yeah, let's get it. Let's get into it. Ah, the estate of House Martok. It has been too long. After Gowron stripped my house of its titles and lands, this place became my home. I will defend it and House Martok to my final breath. Come, Lady Sorella waits for us ahead. Believe me when I say it is unwise to keep her waiting. Welcome. I will skip the usual pleasantries. We have serious matters to discuss. The House of Martok has many enemies. Some of them seek to curry favor with Jempok, or the House of Duras, by striking at us. Until now, most of these attacks have been a little more than a nuisance. But now we know that an enemy may be plotting to assassinate Worf, and my grandson, Maven, may also be a target. The filthy Bakhtag willing to carry out such dishonorable attacks must be stopped. And so, I ask you to find these assassins and eliminate them. We will do what we can to assist you, Lady Sorella. Any threat to House Martok will be dealt with, my lady. On that, you have my word as a warrior. Where is Maven now? He is on his way to the Batleth tournament on Forcus Three with your father. Worf assured me that he would handle security matters during the trip, but that was before you reported your findings to me. We should go to Forcus Three as well. Before you go, I have another concern. Our local farmers reported seeing a Romulan here recently. Given Kemtar's suspicions of a house collaborating with the Tal Shiar, it seems to be an odd coincidence. We need to know what the Romulan was doing here before you leave for the tournament. That is indeed suspicious. We will investigate at once. So I hope that voice is fitting for my Klingon. The last time I um, did a playthrough of this guy, I didn't have a voice for him. <laughs> Also, the Kida Lulans look very nice for the redesign. Lovely. A Romulan here? Once I would have considered that impossible. But we live in strange times. Maybe they have come to their senses and joined with the Empire against the Federation. <laughs> I haven't seen this Romulan myself, but one of the others might have. You have my leave to speak with the workers. One of them might have seen your pointy-eared interloper about. I'll see what they have to say. Of what interest is a Klingon farm to a Romulan? The only thing I've paid attention to of late has been the lack of rain. But you're a warrior, not a farmer. You wouldn't be interested in that. Sorry, I couldn't help you. All Klingons are warriors, and an enemy may be near. Remain vigilant. Uh, the Togs have been busy tearing up my roots, but other than that, I haven't seen anything unusual. I see. 
Targs are persistent creatures, as are Romulans. I remember seeing the Romulan. He said he was a surveyor hired to architect a new irrigation system. He set up equipment on the hill over there, but I haven't seen him lately. It wouldn't surprise me if he's up to no good. You can never trust a Romulan. This survey may be more than he seems. The idea of a Romulan moving alone, freely on estate grounds? I do not like where this I is I see going. the equipment there. Let's follow it is definitely steps. Romulan. Doing so could lead to insight on the Romulan's actions. Agreed. Let's follow that path up to the top of the hill. That is definitely Romulan gear. But it is not surveying equipment. What is it, then? It is a short-range EM transmitter, not something a surveyor would use, Romulan or otherwise. I have a bad feeling about this. Disable it at once! I will deal with it myself. That is definitely Romulan gear, but it is not surveying equipment. Wait, didn't we already go through this? It is a short reign. Well done. We still have a suspicious Romulan on the loose, however. Indeed. There is a shipping and receiving area nearby, close to a landing pad. I suggest speaking with the workers there. They may have seen our mysterious surveyor recently. A good plan. We might pick up the trail there. Jump, 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 whee! <laughs> oh, oh, no, not good. Okay, let's not get stuck now. Alright, the last thing I want is to get stuck. So, let's try to... Uh, okay, let me try this. All right, it seems I have to pause the video and come back. Uh, <laughs> right, welcome back. So let's not jump this time. Feral oh. Targs, always a problem at this time of year. All right, the Targs have been updated as well. Wonder if the pet version of them has been updated. Just out of curiosity, let's do that while going downstairs. Okay, so that should be in personnel, companions. Oh, it has been updated. That's cool. All right. You know what? You know what? I might actually get one of these one day. <laughs> but I got a Mugatu. <laughs> All right. Let's keep going. Whoop. What is this rubber banding at this time? Yes, I remember this man. Not every day you see a Romulan in the Ketha Lowlands. He didn't say he was a surveyor, though. He told me that he was a part of a diplomatic delegation studying our agriculture. The plot thickens. Continue. Martok would have never let a Romulan set foot on our world. That's why I don't think much of Jimpak. He's too soft. The oddest thing I remember, other than him being a Romulan, was that he personally scheduled the delivery of goods to the farm. That is against our security procedures. Lady Sorella insists on authorizing all deliveries to the men. No, well, his codes were valid. He had Lady Sorella's signature, so I did as he asked. His delivery arrived today. It was the large package we moved to the grain storage shed near the house of Martok's manor. The Nepri he handles most of Lady Sorella's business transactions. Let us speak with Tanep. I want to know more about this package. And now our surveyor is a diplomat. A Tal Shiar spy I seems more like that delivery. It was an order for the House of Martok. They needed explosives for digging out a new irrigation system. The order was placed by Lady Sorella her signature and authorization codes. She must 
leave the new irrigation channel badly. Normally, Sorella delays such tasks until the winter, when the farmhands aren't busy with planting and harvesting. More Romulan treachery! We must deal with this at once! This spy is clever. Placing the explosives near the house of Martok's fertilizer stores. If he detonates them, the results will be devastating. I believe that device we found earlier was intended to be a trigger relay. Taking it out will slow the Romulan down, but it may not be enough to foil his plan. Agreed. We should focus our search near the fertilizer ship. The spy will need a good vantage point to monitor the area before he triggers the detonation. Come, the hunt continues. Use your scanner to search for Romulan life signs. It is time to put an end to, the, to this Romulan treachery. Move out! Oh. <laughs> the signal is getting weak. You know... The signal is getting stronger! This tracker thing I found out in the past doesn't really tell you much. The signal is getting stronger. Oh, I'm actually going the right direction. That's first. Oh, a bird of prey. Nice. The signal is getting stronger. <laughs> Where am I even heading? <laughs> there, by the ship. What is Hello that there. doing? The house of Martok will crumble, and with it, the rest of the Klingon Empire. You cannot stop what has begun. The words of an enemy and a fool. Attack! Deal with that bomb before it kills us all! It is the Rotarin, the flagship of House Martok. Huh? That Romulan wanted to blow up more than fertilizer. If he had succeeded... It would have been a fatal blow, both to the house and its honor. We chop. One thing is clear. Whoever is behind this plot has no honor. Not even a Fekiri would join forces with the Tal Shiar. It is madness! Indeed. What's our next move? We must continue the hunt, my friend. The Romulan still draws breath, and as long as he lives, our troubles will multiply. A piece of Baktok probably beamed up to a cloaked vessel in orbit. Let us return to your ship and see if we can find it. Jempok recognized the government on New Romulus. The number of... Whoops. Ever since Jempok recognized the government on New Romulus, the number of Romulan ships in orbit over Kronos has increased. Most of them have legitimate reasons for being here. As a diplomat, I realize that harassing such a ship could lead to... an incident. That's trouble we do not need. Agreed. We will be... discreet in our search. Very well. I am willing to continue. As long as you understand that discovering the vessel that holds our quarry will be difficult. Difficult, but not impossible. Scan for cloaked vessels. Mm. There's a lot of warp and impulse traffic in the area. It's too much for the scanners to handle. 
especially if we're dealing with a cloaked ship. That's assuming the ship is still in the system. They may have gone to warp as soon as the spy stepped off the transporter pad. We're not done yet. Scan for Singularity Core emissions. Ah, your intuition served us well, my friend. Scanners are detecting trace singularity distortions from the nearby asteroids. I believe a cloaked Romulan warbird recently entered warp there. If we get a closer scan, I will be able to plot a course based on the warp trail signature. Hell, take us closer to the asteroids. I'm being pursued by annoying Klingon insects. I... As much as I would love to dance, I have a pressing appointment elsewhere. Let's see if we can find the warp trail of the Romulan leader. Warp trail detected. Sensor analysis indicates that the Romulan is headed for the Forcus system. They're going after Maven and your father. Agreed. I believe Lady Sorella's suspicions were correct. The Romulans mean to kill Maven and anyone that gets in their way, like my father. Both Maven and my father are formidable warriors, but even they can be overwhelmed by numbers and treachery. I must go to Forcus to warn them. Will you join me, my friend? I will. Set a course to the Forcus system. Maximum warp. We have arrived in the Forcus system. The Warbird's warp trail ends here. She's out there, somewhere. Initiating sensor sweep now. Very well. We should attempt to contact your father and warn him. I've hailed him several times, but he has not answered. Either he is unable to respond, or unwilling to respond. Let us hope he is engaged with the Batleth tournament, and watching over Maven. We will need to beam down to the surface to know for certain, however. Have we located the Warbird? Yes. She is dropping into orbit over Forcus 3, and hailing us. It appears Commander Tarson would like a word. Put the piece of Baktak on the screen. You are becoming an annoyance. You have made yourself a target by defending the House of Martok. By following me here, you've given me no choice but to destroy you. That will be the day. All hands, battle stations. Whoops, wrong cruiser command. Scan for energy traces so we can follow him.
cannot stop what is already set in motion. The Klingon Empire will fall. Tarson may have beamed himself and his agents to the surface. He also has Klingon traitors aiding his cause. We have more work to do, my friend. Let us beam down and attempt to contact Maven and my father before things get worse. Any Romulans here will be well hidden, but their Klingon allies will be able to move freely. Even so, someone might have noticed some unusual behavior. Let's start in the bar. Tongues loosened by blood wine may reveal clues we'd otherwise miss. Very well. I could use a trick myself. Did you see Jim Puck when he was young and still fighting at the tournaments? Oh, now that was something to behold. He was masterful and fluent, not like the young tars here these days. I'm surprised that some of them can hold on to their badlets for the entire match. Ah. Wonderful! Another stout warrior eager to hear the story of my glory days in battle. Pull up a chair and I'll allow you the honor of buying me a blood wine. Have you seen the fighter from the House of Duras? He looks like a real contender for champion standing. I'll bet you a barrel of blood wine that he wins without taking a single wound. Is General Chang fought the Har Master Core, both in their prime fighting condition. Who do you think would take champion standing? And what do you think of the new rule restricting Bartlett links to between 110 and 120 centimeters. Uh, okay. <laughs> Do you really think a Romulan would be foolish enough to beam down to an arena filled with hundreds of Klingon warriors? Besides, ever since that one tournament where the champion of the House of Mokai used a transporter to steal his opponent's battle in the middle of a fight, there are transport inhibitors in place. The only places they can operate are the transport pads and cargo storage. If they can only beam down to the cargo areas. The enemy is devious, moving in disguise. Tactics worthy of House Mokai, but not a true Klingon warrior. If they're posing as cargo haulers, they will have access to the locker rooms where competitors store their gear. They need only wait there for Maven between rounds and strike when he least expects it. We need to gain access to those rooms as well. Hearing the chanting and sounds of battles reminds me of the first huh? time I celebrated the Cote Baval Festival. That was the first time I remember understanding what it means to be a Klingon warrior. Hmm, I like the new environments. They are all, um, pretty... homogenous with what we seen last time, um, House Divided was, um, released. Nuknek, speak quickly. I have a tournament to run, and little time to lose. We require locker rooms access. Infiltrators may be present. Access is limited to maintenance staff and competitors. If you have a security concern, take it up with security. Are you not in charge here? I am 
and you will explain your impudence before I show you why I am in charge the hard way. This is an urgent matter, Administrator. There is another one. Is it still possible to enter the tournament? I am ready to participate immediately. Not as a competitor, but we do have an opening for an exhibition match. One of the fighters put enough blood wine in his gut to drop the Gone King and had to withdraw. If you wish to take his place, I will allow it. Let it be so. I am eager for combat. Then combat you shall have. No firearms are allowed. You must use a melee weapon. A batleth is preferred. But this is an exhibition, so you may use an unconventional melee weapon, if you wish. Even one of those Vulcan lurpas they wave at each other in mating disputes. Ha! <laughs> Enough talk! I am ready to fight! And now, an exhibition match! Alright, bring it on. That's it? Aw. Uh oh, okay, whoa, bridge officers, chill. <laughs> ha, you fight well. Work on your form, and you might qualify for next year's tournament. You may use the locker rooms to clean up. Go. Should you have the courage, I will allow you the honor of buying me a blood wine later. Perhaps we will see if you drink as well as you fight. Perhaps we shall. Good luck! I said that I would tell you the story of how I came to be called Kemta. Kemta was the name of a warrior who saved my father from assassin. A glove a fly force. buzzes into these I hollow chambers. Kemta okay, whoa. To honor his memory. To remind me of what it means to be Klingon. What's this? A glob fly buzzes into these hallowed chambers. This is a place for competitors, insect. Be gone! I just completed an exhibition bout. Make way! The insect buzzes still. I think it is time I stifled it permanently. Last chance, glob fly. Leave on your own two feet or on the barge to Grethor. Your choice. Bold words, Takek. Come and back them up. More traitors in league with Tars. They must be preparing to strike. Hello, gentlemen. <laughs> Excuse me. It's nice and done. The it's nicely done. These um, uh, locker rooms. You are looking for Maven. He is in another room, further down the hallway. Maven has fallen to trust the enemy target. The House of Barbar will have its revenge. He's using the field to weaken our energy weapon. Switch to a melee weapon. All right. Tor. I need reinforcements! Oh, not a triple. My character's allergic to those.
What is the meaning of this, Alexander? Maven was sent here to replace his equipment, and yet I find you here, surrounded by Romulans with the grandson of Martok dead at your feet. Explain yourself. This is not Kimtar's doing. Lady Sorella feared that you alone would not be able to keep her grandson safe. We followed these Romulans here and would have stopped them had these halls not been filled with Klingon traitors. And where were you when these assassins struck? Both of you stop. We must focus on finding the real enemy. I see you have been listening to my son's conspiracy theories again. He talks of peace and uniting the houses. Yet, here he is, with a blade in his hand, looking for glory. I told you I wanted nothing to do with this. With respect, sir, we have proof that another house is behind this. While you were here at the tournament, assassins moved against Lady Sorella at her own estate. If we hadn't tracked down this agent and disarmed his explosive, she would be dead as well. At every step, we have encountered Klingons hiding in the shadows with blades at our backs. What Kim Tar says is the truth. We must find these traitors and put an end to this plot. I have not seen this evidence, but I believe what you say. We will get to the bottom of this. That does not mean we can act rashly. If there were Klingons aiding these agents, then we are still in danger. If we uncover the identity of this rival house, then they will be forced to act in open, in the open where we can fight them head on. Agreed. A great house conspiring with the Tal Shi'ar to assassinate other Klingons. And it is not just a theory. How high does the corruption go? We will encounter this threat together. Sorella and the rest of the House of Martok will mourn for her grandson. But I must also see that security remains a priority. To start, I am sending you a recruit from our house, the warrior Bellera. She's been personally trained by me and will aid your crew as we fight against the House of Torg. House Torg. My former jailers were from that house. At least, before we sent them to Grethel on the frozen tundra of Rurapente. You have fought with me this far, my friend. Will you see this through to the end? Help me serve House Tor, a dish colder than the gulag they used to command. It will be an honor. Let's go. The idea that one of the great houses is conspiring with Romulans to attack House Martok is troublesome. Come to the Ketholans. Worf and I would be honored if you would participate in Maven's Hecate. Once we have put our family matters to rest, you may work with Worf and Kemtar to determine our plan of attack. Serve the Empire well. Maven the heir of House Martok. We will be diminished without him. He died as a warrior born, and soon he will join his honored ancestors in the halls of Stovokor. Come, I would offer my condolences to Lady Sorella. You honor my house by returning the body of Maven to his home. My grandson was very traditional. In his honor, we shall perform an Akfo. Together, we will follow our ancient traditions by watching over Maven until his spirit is ready for the journey to Stovokor. I would be honored if you joined us in the Akfo. We would be honored to join you, Lady Sorella. In the flash, before the night, you heard the call of Stovokor. The warriors singing, cry out your name. Welcome home, welcome home. Let not your heart be filled with fear. The spirit soars on honor's wings. Your heart 
is singing. You found your way. Welcome home. Welcome home. That was nice. Thank you for participating in the ACVO. It is important that we remember our traditions. Together, we have kept away the predators that would take Meven's body before his spirit was ready to leave for Stovokor. Now he may seek the fellowship of Martok and continue the warrior's journey. Tescas, Worf. You are a worthy Gintok to the house of Martok. Pardon my interruption, Gintok. We have an urgent security matter. House of Torg warriors was seen gathering in the first city. We have word that they are planning an assault. Hand will be here any moment. They dare attack. Uh, they dare to attack during events, Akvo. They have no honor. Send an alert to everyone on the estate. I will see to Lady Sorella. Prepare your men. We will not let these dogs catch us by surprise. Helu mech, kak, chachva. Here they come. Show them no mercy. Defend Lady Sorrel. Stop talk, you angel lock up fool. Add your pathetic out. You disappear. Your enemies approach. The fairy will grab all of you too. You shall be honored, you worthless Garut. Torg sent his lackeys to attack us during a sacred ritual. He is true, dishonorable Takek, and I will have my vengeance. Worf, Kemtar, honored allies of House Martok, hear me now. Lead our warriors against the House of Torg and bring an end to their treachery once and for all. After everything you have done on behalf of the House of Martok, I ask that you see this campaign to its conclusion. The House of Torg must not be allowed to survive this day. The House of Torg's main base is located in the Gorath system. I will prepare our fleet, and we will attack while we have the advantage. Take Alexander with you and he will ensure your ship is recognized as an ally by our fleet. Torg will soon discover that the House of Martok is stronger than he was led to believe. Make contact with the fleet when you enter the Garoth system to receive further instructions. We've arrived in the Gorath system. Our transponder signal has been linked to the Martok fleet commander, and we're receiving battle instructions. The IKS Mooj will follow us. Our task is to destroy hard assets that Tor could use to mount a counterattack. To battle! To battle! Raider. There is one of the freighters. Target entry for an escape. Target shields have failed.
Oh, uh, we can ignore that. Right, nice. There is one of the freighters. Target it before it can escape. Oh, those count as Klingon Empire rebel ships, that's interesting. Alright, let's get to the planet. I mean, I was already on the way, but... Uh, <laughs> With these assets destroyed, House Torg will be unable to resupply their forces. Their ability to fight will be greatly limited. Now, Torg must be brought before the Council, so that we may reveal the depths of his house's treachery. At last, the stronghold of House Torg. This will be over soon. Torg is here, trapped like a Hadibach. That will make him dangerous, but not invincible. Coward that he is, Torg will put all of his warriors in our path, including his son, Sagen. Perhaps we will have vengeance for Maven sooner than we expected. <laughs> Do not let your anger blind you, or your father may lead to another Avosu. Sagen's quarters are up ahead. Despite being an idiot and a follower, he is the heir of House Torg. He will have supported his father in all things, even treason. Even the killing of Mopen. For that, he must pay. Honor the mansion. There will be so. Come on! The death of Sagen, we have our revenge. And yet, both houses are now forever bound in grief. As it has always been, my friend, as it always will be, for we are Klingon. And now that you have your revenge, we must seek any further evidence of Torg's treason. We can use what we find when we bring him before the council. Assuming he lives to stand trial for his crimes. Uh, where am I heading? Oh, okay. <laughs> it 
idiots! You told us this place was secure! That grenade launcher thing is really fun. <laughs> Yeah, they're Romulan. These are Romulan shipping containers, but they're filled with Klingon weapons and technology. These crates are similar to those we found in the Vor system. According to the shipping manifests, they're scheduled to be transferred to a freighter with a destination somewhere within Romulan space. This evidence connects Tor directly to the information we received from the Romulan Republic captain. Torg is selling weapons and secrets to the Tal Shi'ar, and in exchange, they provide him with deniable assets, ships and assassins to remove his competitors. Torg's dishonor is great. He must pay for his treason. So I understand that uh, Torg's chambers has a nice throne. I wonder if we can sit in it. <laughs> uh oh, uh, that was a complete mistake. <laughs> but, uh, oh, free gear here. Nice. Oh. Well, I mean, my crew already has pretty decent weapons, so... That shall be either salvaged or sold. Am I going the right direction? Yep. Nice haul. You fight well, but you will go no farther, assassins! Sword must be locked in his audience chamber. We must get those doors open! You are Klingon, you which you would shoot a man in the back. Oh, how do I get in? Oh, right here. Enemy on this is a nice chamber, huh? What's up, man? <laughs> Albert, oh, come on. Where the heck is the rest of my team? Like, what? 200, 168, 169, where are they? Oh. He has escaped for now. 
But when we are finished, we will make sure that he has nowhere to run. There will be no safe haven in the entire Empire for Tor! What do you propose? We must take the evidence we've collected to Kronos and present it to the High Council. Once Chancellor Jempok knows of Torg's treason, there will be justice at last. Perhaps they will put Torg into my old cell on Rura Pente. It is more than he deserves, but it would be poetic. The remainder of our fleet has assembled in the system. The House of Torg has called in Romulan reinforcements, but if we stick to our offensive strategy, we will prevail. Form up behind the IKS Tide, and we will teach these fools how to fight ship to ship. We are honored to fight with the House of Barthok. Come in, House Mokai, with me! <laughs> Alright, let's go! Reading a few ships on attack vectors, all with House Torg registries. Someone doesn't want us to present our evidence to the High Council. It does not matter. I did not come this far to fall in battle to the lackeys of Torg. Let's show them the error of their ways. All hands, prepare for combat. I thought Klingons didn't have any um, house um, ship registries. Huh. Well, whatever the plot demands. <laughs> contacted Chancellor Jempok and explained the situation. He is waiting for us in the Great Hall. The Chancellor and the High Command are waiting for us as well. There, my father will formally accuse Torg of treason. Father tells me that Torg will be present as well. That should make things interesting. It is time. We must confront Torg. Tell me when you are ready. It is my duty to represent the House of Martok in this matter. I have reviewed the evidence that you and Kemtar have gathered, and I may call upon you to present your findings as testimony. However, you are not to speak unless asked by myself or a member of the High Council. It is time. We must confront Torg. Tell me when you are ready. I am ready. Oh, the NPC still walk faster than you. <laughs> Ambassador Warp. And Kimtar. An interesting band of warriors, to be sure. The time has come. We are ready to hear your claim. Are you prepared to show evidence to support it? We are, Chancellor. 
Wall, son of Moog. You have called this council on a very serious matter. Speak. The House of Martok will show evidence that Torg, son of Kormog, has committed acts of treason. I will not stand by and let the House of Martok spread more lies and deceit to this council. This brave warrior, together with my son Alexander, uncovered a plot by the House of Torg to transfer weapons and classified technology to our enemies in the Romulan Star Empire. We have presented to the Chancellor's aides physical evidence and computer logs that will trace stolen weapons from the exchange through the House of Torg to agents within the Tal Shiar. This dishonorable Bakhtar would say anything to hide the weakness and decay in his own Enough. house. The evidence is clear, Torg. It is the finding of this council that you have lost all sight of honor and are guilty of treason. The accusation stands. The judgment is discommendation. From this point forward, the House of Torg will be no more. You have killed my son! You have stripped my house of honor! I will burn in the fires of Grethor! But not before I kill you! Father, look out! Ah! Alexander! Well, it's about time. We will control the Empire! Kill these fools! Bring me out of here! No! Ugh. It seems... I am not the warrior I should have been, father. You were warrior enough to save me. All that matters now is that you are my son. And for that, I am proud. <coughs> save your strength, son. Help is coming. They will be too late. Today is a good day. To die. It will be a good death. You are a warrior. This tragedy will not be forgotten. I want to thank you for rescuing my son from Ruripenthe and allowing him to die with honor. You have done much for the House of Martok, but we have also lost much. We will see Alexander again in Stovo Corps. Perhaps, but the pain will remain. Alexander never realized that he truly was Kimtar, both then and now. We must remember to stay true to our beliefs. Only then can we live and die with honor. Until we meet again, warrior. Farewell, Worf, son of Moog. We will make sure the House of Torg is properly punished for their cowardly actions. Torg has been on the council for many years, and I thought I knew his heart. I was wrong. I had no part in or knowledge of his acts against the House of Martok. For that, he will pay dearly. Serve the Empire well. Kapla! Kavan, warrior. I bring news from the war, an 
had an opportunity for honor and glory. We recently took the Alhena system from the Federation in battle. In response, Starfleet has sent a task force to take it back. Our forces may not be enough to repel their counterattack. Alhena is an important system. I will not see it fall back into Federation hands. Join me there, and we will teach Starfleet what happens when you defy the Klingon Empire! Everything we do is for the Empire. There is an incoming hail from the station's commander. Good. More warriors to join the battle against these Starfleet thieves. This was Imperial space for centuries, until the Kittimer Accords gave it to the Federation. A mistake we have corrected, as you can see. It appears Starfleet disagrees with your claim, Commander. Bah! Let them whine like newborn tards. I have but one answer for them. Glorious battle! Join the fight, and we can litter the stars with the wreckage of their ships! Fight well, and with honor! Kabla! <laughs> Playing Klingon is fun, isn't it? <laughs> And so does mine. <laughs> Board the vessel and seize anything useful while we can. Agreed. I will lead the boarding party. Uh, <laughs> I will lead the boarding party myself. I hope you are ready for a fight. Despite what you may have heard, most Starfleet are not cowardly weaklings. They will defend their vessel like warriors born. Ah, oh, the Galaxy Bridge. Lovely. See what the human knows while I search their computer for intel. While you do that, I'm just gonna do a quick walk around. <laughs> and then we'll get back to our task. It was a different bridge before the revamp. This is a nice touch. <laughs> if you're going to kill me, get it over with. <coughs> if you're waiting for me to beg for my life, not going to happen. You have a warrior spirit, Captain. What's the Klingon saying? <coughs> Better to die on our feet than live on our knees. That works for us too, you know. Answer my questions and you will die with honor, Captain. He's stalling. Buying time for his security teams to storm the bridge. The turbo lifts approach as we speak. Guard the entrances while I extract intelligence data from their computers. Prepare for battle! Kabla!
Oh, that turbo lift. Okay. Hello. Oh, are they all over there? Oh, they are. Whoops. Oh. And that guy glitched out and is not dead. Hmm. All right. Invasion of their computer systems has been very successful. I have found security command codes and transponder IDs for the soul system. The very heart of the Federation. Indeed, we can do glorious deeds with this information. Deeds worthy of song and memory. Come, let us return to the ship. There is no glory to be found in a Starfleet rig. The Starfleet vessel is too heavily damaged to be of any more use to the Empire. Indeed. Your orders? Do you wish to scuttle it, or leave its warriors to fend for themselves? Give them a warrior's death. Open fire! Opportunities like this do not present themselves often. I suggest we contact the High Council and discuss the best course of action. Agreed. Open a secure channel. Very well. I have Chancellor Jempok standing by. On screen. You have done well today, warriors. Such boldness should be rewarded. Though an assault on Earth would be glorious, I believe there is a greater chance for success in attacking a critical Federation war asset. The Utopia Planitia Shipyards. Well, the synths destroyed it, now we gotta do it again. <laughs> Utopia Planitia is Starfleet's main ship repair and construction facility. Any lasting damage there could hinder the Federation war effort greatly. Yes, that will be your target. It is only fitting that you will find glory at a planet named for a god of war. Indeed, Chancellor. You must act quickly. It will not be long before Starfleet learns of your success and what you have taken from them. If there are warriors eager to seek glory with you there, lead them to Mars for the Empire. Fight well. Fight with honor. Kapla! We should approach the Starbase. Some of the warriors there may wish to join us in battle once more. It is an honor to heed your call to battle. We answer it gladly. Soon, Starfleet will pay the price for defying the immortal Empire. It will be glorious! All ships have reported in. They are ready for combat. We leave for battle at your command! Strike this deep into Federation space has not happened in many years. If we succeed, our names will be remembered for eternity. Tamidun Bamidun! What does that actually mean? <laughs> Oh. There it is. Mars. A harsh, scarred world. The humans named it well. We won't have time to destroy the main shipyard, but we can do considerable damage to their repair facilities. Uh, we'll have to deal with those Starfleet vessels. be glorious for Starfleet. No, the token force in the system will fight well, but we have the element of surprise, and we are Klingons. Victory will be ours. 
Indeed. Understood. So they use the same map as uh, the TFO synthwave. Nice. Oh, I see. It's the same music as that TFO as well. that Out of my way, guys. Probably reconfigured a deflector array in, in new and devious ways. shortly after we warped out. Some of our ships did not escape, and warriors have been captured. Even now, the Federation is denying them a glorious death in battle. This cannot stand! It sounds like you have another plan, Kamen. You know me well. Starfleet has been disrupted. Their focus will be on Mars and other critical targets in the Soul System. Ah, but a prison not consider that a critical target. A host of bold warriors could stage a jailbreak. Bold warriors such as ourselves. Indeed. The nearest 
Federation holding facility is in the Gamma Okana system. If we move quickly, we can liberate our captured allies and spare them eternity in the halls of Grethel. As I suspected, Starfleet is still in disarray from our attack on Mars. The advantage is ours. What is our next move? We must swiftly disable the security measures around the station so we can beam aboard and stage the jailbreak. All hands, prepare for battle! If I remember, remember correctly, before the revamp, we have to do this in a shuttle. sensor hole in the station's defenses. We can exploit this weakness and beam into the facility. My readings indicate we won't be far from the security area where our allies are being held. Good. Pre boarding party, prepare for combat. Ready to transport. On your signal. Several Klingon life signs. The warriors are being held in cells nearby. We will not leave this place without them. Move out. Oh, hello. Contact. Engaging hostile. All right. Where am I heading? Where? Whoa, hello. Yo! Understood. Come out, Starfleet! Come and see how a true warrior fights! I will not die! We changed like our Son of engineers will be the death. I will die a warrior to take our actions! Created a scattering field to stop us from beaming out. We need to. We need a new escape plan now. Seize a control station so we can drop them. At that point, 
Cunning as, cunning as always, come in. Let's go. How safe is a cargo transporter? <laughs> Right here? Yep. Transporter is clear. Well done. Follow me, warriors. Oh, glad for you to show up. <laughs> Those things are still awfully slow. Cargo transporter. Nice. Where's the rest of my crew? Oh, miserable Starfleet Tuckhead! What is it now, Command? The Starfleet Kotar is devious. More than Vecklar himself! He will not win this time. Hmm. If I narrow the annular confinement beam. Yes! Command, we are running out of time! Can we leave or not? We can't. Only one person at a time. Hold the line while I control the evacuation. Prepare for battle. Kabla! Security teams to the transporter room. Well, here they come. Prisoners have been evacuated. And I managed to foil our personal Starfleet Vecklar. We can all beam out now. More enemy ships have arrived, led by the USS Challenger. This may be a battle we cannot win, my friend. 
It seems that Starfleet was a word on screen. This is Captain LaForge of the USS Challenger. We'll be making our stand here, and we will hold the line. I do not fear your famous name or your vessel. Try to die well, Starfleet. All ships, this is LaForge. Fire at will. To battle for the Empire. Kabla. <laughs> All this voice acting is tiring me out. <laughs> What? The forward run? I suggest we do the same as soon as possible. Oh, Alright. Yeah, I remember um, in the old mission, it wasn't the Challenger and we had to fight in the shuttle. Of course, lady. You can leave on your order. Wait a minute. It's over? No, I still have Alpha to do. Oh well. Let me just Word get this of our one done. Success is spreading throughout the Empire and the Federation. We have inspired our fellow warriors and given pause for thought to our enemy. It was a good day, my friend. A glorious day. You have proven yourself to be a warrior of singular quality. Know that I may call on you again when the Empire has need of such a warrior. Until that day, fight well and with honor. Kupla! Oh. Right. Hmm, I mean, I'll be selling these anyway. Which one has more? Oh, the same. Okay. Everything we do is for the Empire. One of the vessels that took part in the raid on Utopia Planitia has gone missing in the Orith system. In Romulan space. We received a brief burst from the ship's emergency transponder, but then it went silent. If this was a Romulan attack, we may have a new enemy to face in this war. Command has ordered us to go to the last known location of the ship. Once there, we are to find the missing vessel and recover the critical data, if possible. Oh yeah, the Hiroshian Tetron Blast Rifle. Exclusive to, um, Klingons. Everything we do is for... arrived in the Orith system. The bird of prey may be in orbit, obscured by the planet itself. It may have crashed on the planet or been destroyed here in space. It is time to begin the hunt. Ready to begin a sensor sweep on your command. Good. Begin your scan, command. Hmm. Nice planet. Scrambling the sensor signals. We should narrow down the search area with more intensive scans of key areas. That small ion nebula is a good place to start. Helm, set course for the ion nebula. Let's find out.
Romulans have been ambushing ships in this system with traps like this for some time now. Crude, but effective. Many a freighter captain came through here trying to avoid inspections, only to meet a cold and brutal end. Any signs of the missing vessel? <clears throat> Sensors are picking up Romulan and Nausicaan alloys within the debris field, but nothing from a Klingon vessel. I'm reading an interesting radiation anomaly nearby. I think we should investigate it. Very well. Helm, take us to this anomaly of commands. Huh? What? Oh. Ah. Uh. This game doesn't do very well with 3D space, does it? <laughs> you gotta like dive like this to be able to get to it. This is pirate space, and we answer to no one. Leave or die. You shall answer to the Empire. <laughs> Is there more? and the Empire. If so, they paid the price for their treachery. Indeed. They should have known better than to challenge a Klingon. Wait. Reading an energy signature on the surface of Orith 2. It corresponds to that of a warp core. One of ours? Indeed. And of the size and class used in a bird of prey. We need to get down there and investigate. There could be survivors. Hell. Take us into orbit over Orith 2. Standard orbit established. We are in transporter range. Away team is standing by in transporter room 1. Detecting bands of Histrium in the rock formations here. It scatters transporter signals. So this is as close as we can get to the bird of prey safely. We should make our way to high ground and get an overview of the area. Then we can plan how to proceed to the crash site. Hmm, it's beautiful. My tricorder's range has been reduced by more than 60%. The Fistrium and trace amounts of Kelvinite could account for some of that, but no, there's something else. I think we're dealing with a jammer of some sort. Run a scan and confirm my readings. Very well. Scanning now. As I suspected, that field is making it difficult to maintain a sensor lock. Won't be safe to beam out of here without using a pattern enhancer. We will set one up then. I do not want to be trapped here. Oh, what's happened to my cape? <laughs> Picking up some energy readings to the south. Jungle is dense. Many life signs. Exercise caution. Dangers are hidden here. We are not alone. The rocks here form natural valleys and causeways. If we head to the low ground and follow the valleys, we should be able to reach the crash site. 
Let's get down from here and push through this jungle. There. Do you see it? Looks like low level do it uh where? Duonetic field. Exactly. A naturally occurring duonetic field would not be so constant in effect. This field is artificially generated. I'm sure of it. Be advised. That field will make using transporters difficult. I believe our weapons will still work, however. Understood. Remain vigilant. I do not think we are alone here. Oh, that way, huh? Well, I can only go this way, so... It, what was that? Oh my! More of them? Huh? <laughs> A creeper. That's funny. saw something moving. We should scan the area again. This planet is playing tricks on me. There's nothing there! Hmm? A dead Nasican. Huh. Oh, it's resistant to electricity. How interesting. There it is! The bird of prey! Recommend we run a baseline scan before we proceed. I do not like surprises. There have been too many of them here already. Agreed! Scanning now! Might be life signs. The radiation from the ship's reactor is fouling up my tricorder. We can't rely on our instruments here. Visual recon is our next option. Very well. Stay alert. Let's move out. Captain? Come on. I have Katang. Captain of the remains of this honored vessel. What happened here, Captain? Returning from a recon mission, and encountered Nasakan pirates. One of them got a lucky shot and knocked our seal generator out. We were making repairs when the Herogen attacked. Herogen? Here? They have come far to hunt. Indeed. They are good at that. They jammed our transmissions and began to hunt us like animals. Shortly after we crashed, I do not know how many of my crew remain. Several of them went into the jungle to hunt the Herodian against my orders. Young fools. Always it is the brave ones who die. We will search the area for your crew, Captain. Alright, my next step. Killed by blunt force trauma. The wounds. Oh, whoops. This warrior had many internal injuries. Injuries that should have been immediately fatal. And yet, they survived for some time. And look, their disruptor was drained of power. Every shot was fired. They died in battle. Today, there is a new warrior in Stovacor.
oldest warrior was killed by blood force trauma. The wounds could have been caused by the force of the crash if the ship's inertial dampers were offline before the ship hit the atmosphere. It is likely that many of the crew were killed this way. Unfortunate. I'm detecting electrical burns and plasma damage, along with pieces of shrapnel that could have come from an exploding console. This warrior died with honor. There's nothing that indicates they left their post. To die in the line of duty is the hope of every Klingon. This warrior survived the crash. A very sharp blade killed them, expertly wielded. By tracing the blood trail back to its source, I found a second drag path and two sets of footprints. I believe this warrior died trying to defend someone else. Someone who was then taken. Then perhaps they can be found and liberated. Please tell me we're not facing Borg. I'm kidding. We, there's no Borg on this mission. considering where we are. But I do wonder why a Romulan is in the company of Klingon warriors. Keep him close for now. We can interrogate him later. But we don't have to worry about the Hirogen putting their blades in our backs. Watch him closely. We have enough to worry about as it is. I'm detecting level 3 radiation burns and severe heat damage. This warrior must have been very close to a power conduit when it exploded. Not how I wish to die. Uh, not how I would wish to die. That's all of them. Let's go talk to Captain Katang. Where? Where is the enemy? We'll die as a warrior. Do, do not want me to die like this. Be still. I will tend to your wounds, Captain. My faith returns. I will live to fight for the Empire. Do you hear, Herodian cowards? Captain, son of Karak, live on. Meet me in battle. If you have the spine for it. It is our understanding that you required valuable, uh, acquired a valuable tactical data, Captain. It is quite a prize indeed. Complete scans of the Romulan defenses and the plans for a new type of warbird. Unfortunately, that green-blooded Katak over there detected us. Bastard was following in our warp trail as we left the radar system. <laughs> clever, but not clever enough. We detected him and disabled his shuttle. I'm surprised you didn't just kill him. Oh, I've considered it several times. But my senior officers convinced me that Imperial Intelligence might make a word with him. So we threw him in the brig. Since then, there's been nothing but trouble. The cunning Toba managed to sabotage our computers after the crash. He'd have done more if my chief engineer hadn't introduced him to the business end of her spanner. Is Kamen wearing a Terran belt? Uh, we'll have a closer look in a bit. How badly did he damage your computers? They're fancy. Barely. You should be able to extract what you need from them, but I would hurry before the power runs out. I am getting power readings from within the ship, but they are at minimal levels. If we can find a working terminal, we can use it to access the ship's data core. Let's see what we can recover. Yeah, he's wearing a Terran belt. What's up with that? Huh, alright. I 
have the data. It's encrypted. There will be time to deal with that later. For now, we should aid Captain Katang and any other survivors here. Agreed. Kabla! I'm ready to leave this wretched planet. Lead the way. I'll follow you back to the transport point. Prepare, prep for beam out. We have survivors. Go! Catch that attack of a Romulan! What, he's running? Oh. Alright. Looks like we're hunting. Come over here, green blood! <laughs> huh. Wow, he runs fast. Oh. must have had a bomb rigged to the warp core. He knew the Hirogen reading Klingon life signs up ahead. More survivors from the crash, most likely. You know, that ship didn't look... Hirogen have no honor. If they did, they wouldn't keep warriors caged like animals. Let us free these warriors and send them to the Pattern Enhancer for evacuation. Once that is done, we can return there ourselves. Katang bought us some time. Let us make the most of it. That ship didn't look like it exploded much. Where are they, Hirocha? I will make them pay for this! Evacuate! As you wish. Should I see a Hirogen? Honor to you and your house, warrior. You have my thanks. I will not die in a cage, but as a warrior of the Empire. Kabla! Where are they, Hirogen? I will make them pay for this! There's that Romulan again! Quick, grab him! I submit to your will. Among my people, that would make you bound to protect me as you would an honored guest. So, guard me now, if you are truly honorable. A large force of Herogen are coming this way. I won't survive without your assistance. Uh, leave him. You're right. He's dead weight. You would leave me to be slaughtered like an animal. Yes. Coward! I see now that your honor is as tattered and meaningless as your empire. I hope the Herogen make you bake before they kill you. All right. Now, where am I heading? Uh, this way, I suppose. Hmm. At least the Romulan will die in battle. Oh. That was a bit, uh, gruesome. <laughs> the Rogen won't give up the hunt easily. In that, they are almost Klingon. Stay on guard. There may be more traps and ambushes ahead. We can follow that jungle path next to the hillside we came up to get here. Okay. Oh, oh gosh. Crewmates, enemy base for their traps. There is a spatial charge underneath me. 
It is wired to explode if I move. Might be able to disarm it and cut the right wire. Save me, or let me die with my honor intact. Well, that uh, came a little bit too late, didn't it? I think I might have broken the episode. I'll be right back. Alright, welcome back. So let's get this done, shall we? Uh, it's not working. Uh, Alright, so I restart the mission and it seems to work now. And... Being that I restarted, I decided to rescue the Romulan this time. Oh, I got two Alachi warriors, uh, walkers now? That's interesting. Oh, gosh. There we go. Sent the warrior to the evac site. That's right, I can disarm bombs. <laughs> Sent the warrior to the evac site. Yes, let's. Ah, I killed the Herojan leader in battle, and then caught most of his witness lackeys in the blast. It was glorious! Kalis himself could have done no better. Ah, but there is still glory to be had, brave warriors. A second Herojan Alpha still lives. He has been chasing me through the jungle. Now, we will fight together, side by side, with honor. Death to the Herojin. Kabla! Wait, where is he? Oh. Must be this guy. Well, it's time for me to take you down, Grand Moth Tarkin. Oh, I'm kidding. <laughs> Good. It has been a day of glory and 
Code of Honor. Know that you are a friend to me and my house. What you have done for me and my crew, I will never forget. When we meet again, we will drink a barrel of my family's finest blood wine. <laughs> Perhaps two, if we're still standing after the first. Ha! When did Katang's appearance change? Huh. I have the prisoner. Truly? Ah, good. I have so many questions for that miserable Karut. He will wish for the tender mercies of Imperial Intelligence when I'm finished with him. I may let them have him. Or perhaps I will drag him by those pointed ears all the way to Rura Penthe. Right. Well. This was a good victory. Though Katang's ship is a loss, he lives on, a strong warrior and hero of the Empire. He will critically reduce the supply of blood wine in the first city while he celebrates. But that is a small price to pay, I think. You and I both know we need all of the stout fighters we can get in order to defeat the Federation. Saving warriors like Katang will help us achieve that victory. Ah, but I've chewed enough ligament here. Until we fight together once more. Serve with honor, my friend. Let's grab this Herogen. Actually, I'm probably going to end up selling it, so let's grab that. Everything we do is for the Empire. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you found it enjoyable. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell to be notified of future videos and to support this channel. It's free, so why not? Also, I have a Patreon now if you want to support me that way, link in the description, as well as a currently kind of small Discord server also in the description. All right, see you guys next time. Bye.